Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Shopless Team. And today I just want to talk to you about my trip to uh, Egypt. I am currently in Egypt, so I just want to talk about my experience, especially about my uh, cell phone or SIM card experience and uh, the recommendation that I will be telling you about and the company that you should not get a SIM card from. So stay tuned and watch the whole entire video. All right, steamers, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure you subscribe to the channel and put a like on this video. So let's get into it right away. So the, the title of this video basically is talking about the SIM card you should avoid in Egypt, especially in Cairo. The SIM card that you should not get in Egypt. Uh, so basically uh, I did research before I came to Egypt and uh, and what I found out is that Vodafone is the largest uh, cell provider or the mobile provider here in Egypt. So they cover about 40 to 45 percent of Egypt. So when I got here a few days ago at the airport, you know, they have a booth and I got uh, a Vodafone SIM card. The SIM card, you have to purchase it and it's around uh, seven dollars seven US dollars so anyways I got the SIM card then you know the guy was really nice he activated the phone for me the data was working right away and he told me that if I wanted to make a phone call or text I had to wait two hours so basically the Vodafone booth is towards the exit when you claim your luggage if you look left that's where the booth is but anyways I got my uh, sim card activated right away then as soon as I exited the building to the street to call my uber that's when the frustration and the whole problem with Vodafone started with me so my internet was active and it was working fine to an extent it wasn't working 100% uh, smoothly but it was working on and off so it wasn't really working all the way through so when I got out of the airport to uh, ride share area to call my uber my Vodafone network would not work at all it would not work at all so I was there trying to you know find a way to call an uber turned my phone off reset the networks you know did few uh, troubleshooting on my phone just to check if it's uh, to check if my phone had to do anything with it I mean it should not because I travel all the time and I use sim cards from different countries and they usually work just fine with no problem at all so but I just did that to be on the safe side so I can eliminate the problems uh, so I tried it again and uh, still my Vodafone SIM card or the network would not work at all. I really got frustrated. It was so super, super, super slow and I got really frustrated. I don't know what the heck to do. Not to mention I had around maybe six to eight guys approaching me. Everybody's trying to, you know, have me ride with them. So taxi drivers and you know stuff like that they all approached me speaking me speaking to me in Arabic and trying to ride with them and according to my experience I know not to take any taxi because they will rip you off taxis will rip you off you know if uber charges you for example ten dollars to go to your destination taxi will charge you fifty dollars so and you better not to take any taxi but anyways, going back to the point, um, I moved locations, you know, um, because I was waiting for my Uber in a specific location. Then I kind of moved around the parking lot. It was a parking lot in the airport. Uh, so I kind of moved around. Then my Vodafone network started working a little bit. So it started working a little bit, you know, it, it kept loading. You know, eventually I was able to order my Uber and uh, that is another thing too I probably have to make a different video 
about Uber in certain countries like in Africa or other countries because they accept cash and credit card and they prefer cash over credit card so and they will cancel on you anytime they see that you're paying with credit card so probably have to make a different video on that if that's what you guys are interested in leave your comments below and just say make a video about uber and i will try to do that so uh, gradually my network started working it was so super super slow it was 3g by the way 3g um, i was able to order my uber and uh you know first one canceled on me because my uber is set up to pay with credit card second one canceled on me uh, third one you know he wanted to cancel on me but for whatever reason he could not cancel on me and uh, so I was waiting for him for about 50 minutes okay so basically I was in the parking lot between Vodafone network issues and uber issues I was there for about roughly two hours tried to figure out uh, the network issue then tried to figure out how to get uber because they were canceling on me they don't like if a rider is paying with credit card they want cash so uh, after the third or the fourth uber I ordered third fourth time then he could not cancel on me you know he texted me through uber he told me uh you know oh i'm busy or i'm far away or i'm stuck in traffic by the way there was no traffic this was around two in the morning so i don't think there was any traffic i guess he just didn't want to come for me because i was paying with credit card so he told me he's gonna cancel but he could not cancel because he tried to cancel i guess uber would not allow him to cancel or I don't know what the issue was but he was unable to cancel and I kept waiting for him I you know um, I was waiting for him for around maybe for this specific driver I was waiting for at least 35 to 40 minutes I got to the point where I almost wanted to take a taxi and when I asked them you know the price they were telling me like three or four times the price of uber because uber shows me how much uh is gonna cost to go to my destination and when i ask one of the or you know a few taxi drivers they were telling me three fourth time of that price so i didn't want to pay four times more but anyways after a while the uber driver you know he texted me he's like he's busy he can't come he's stuck in traffic and he asked me to cancel the ride so I tried to cancel the ride, but I could not cancel the ride because the network, the Vodafone network was so bad, it would not even uh, process to cancel the ride. Uh, but anyways, eventually the driver showed up and, uh, you know, he picked me and took me to my hotel. So I went to my hotel and stuff like that then next day you know i went and uh, went into the city and guess what my network would not work at all so before i went into the city i ordered uh, kareem is like is actually kareem now is owned by uber uber uh, acquired kareem it's like uber it's a ride sharing company here in the middle east in egypt so i wanted to order cream because cream is a little bit cheaper than uber so you know that's just a side tip uh, and I, I i wasn't able to order it because my network again was so terrible to the point that i wasn't able to order uh cream i mean it was just a, such a very bad experience I had to try it again over and over and it tells me oh no network no network no network it was so bad then uh, this was by the way by the entrance in front of the hotel so I had to go all the way inside and I have to go all the way up for me to use the hotel Wi-Fi to be able to request Kareem so uh finally i requested it and uh, you know the cream came so basically the whole point of this video is i had very bad experience with vodafone in egypt 
okay very bad experience and uh, not to mention that I've been getting 3G forget about 4G or LTE I did not see 4G or LTE since I've been to Egypt and uh, so far I've been here for four days four days and all I've been getting is 3G uh, basically there are four major sim card companies here in Egypt uh, it's Vodafone Orange it's Salat and we WE okay those are the major ones so after I've been going through this frustration every single day and I've been having so much problems then I started talking to people you know like a few people at the hotel and you know a few people on the stores you know I would go to the stores and buy stuff and and I would talk to people and uh, basically they say that Vodafone used to be uh, or Vodafone used to have the best coverage in Egypt a few years ago but not anymore they told me that now it's either uh, it is a lot or orange those are the uh, carrier with the best network in Egypt uh, so um, you know I paid uh, for the Vodafone SIM card I paid uh, $7 for the SIM card then uh, for the data I got around 30 GB uh, and that was around 17 uh, $18 so total of maybe close to $25 so I mean I still have quite few data because you know um, whenever I am at the hotel I just use the Wi-Fi hotel which means I'm not really using my data so but my plan is uh, if I'm still in Egypt and my data runs out I'm not going to uh, top it off with Vodafone anymore either I will try orange or it is a lot and uh, after talking to several people they really gave good recommendation on both of these companies the whole point again of this video is if you are coming to uh, Egypt and uh, you know it's cheaper for you to get a sim card here in Egypt then rather use your carrier from your own country because uh, for example my carrier you know if I wanted to use my carrier here in Egypt that would charge me ten dollars you know and everything would be limited ten dollars a day by the way so four days will be 40 bucks so it's way cheaper for you just to get a sim card here when you land at the airport but I would not recommend Vodafone at all because if you want to avoid frustration and if you want to avoid just you know problems and not being able to use your cell phone just don't get Vodafone I mean I made that mistake and I'm just making this video to help other people you know because I watch other videos too and I really appreciate when other people make useful videos with good information so I'm trying to give it back and do the same thing so if you're ever coming to uh, Egypt avoid Vodafone do not get any Vodafone do not get Vodafone SIM card because you'll be really frustrated with the network you won't be able to use the GPS you won't be able to use Uber and stuff like that you know because and you will only get 3G the network is so super 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 slow in other words is bad is very very bad all right so I guess that's it I mean that's the end of the video I will probably make other videos regarding my experience in Egypt so if you want to watch my other video regarding my experience in Egypt make sure you click on this video that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed the video leave your comment below and uh, we'll see you on the next video